All right, we're back with another match. You see uh, Kyle on here a little bit longer. Lane, I'm gonna I'm gonna correct this. He does say that there are fogs in his deck, but so what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna rename his deck for him. Mill fog question mark. Because there's nothing turbo about what we saw. Okay, so we got time to Austin on some Jund stuff. I don't know exactly what's in there. We just noticed Jundy. Cool. All right, let these guys know. Go ahead. We'll see if he's doing the uh, Urza Saga flavor of Jund. The teeny Jund. I know. I'm pretty sure there's some new stuff in here. He was excited okay. about something. I'm not sure what it was that he was excited about. Uh, good to go. Yeah, go ahead. So Kyle did have the fogs last round. He just sideboarded them out, so that's why we never saw them. Yeah, no, I know. More STDs. It's still questionable. <laughs> you even have the fogs is questionable. Shouldn't you need that? You just should have things that kill things and counter spells. Ignoble. Fog should be the sideboard plan. If any plan at all. All right, so milling some crabs. Coco, unearth. Ooh, what is Tommy doing? Unearth for seasoned pyromancer. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's what part of the plan is. So here's three. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's the beat down guy. Oh, from the new set. Yeah. Blitz thing. Is that in the name? Nope, that's not it. Um, I can't remember the hell that car is called. Well, I can't remember what it does. Alright, uh, I want to go look just because yeah, it's it's a new car. Let's go! Love Matt's enthusiasm. Alright, here we go. Time you got this thing on the battlefield. Still not sure what it does, but we're finding out. We're, we're, we're handling this. All right, so he's got some lands down. Kyle looks like he's got a grip of lands in hand. Land, 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 and a snapcaster. Okay, so not very. See, and that's exactly why I took Turbo off the name of this deck. Well, that's cool. It's the three drop that whenever a creature deals combat damage to a player, makes some treasures, and you can sacrifice treasures to. Uh, Excel the top card of your library, and you can play this turn. Oh, that's pretty good. It's a so three drop. Value, yeah. That's good. And it had either menace or first strike. Yeah, I think it's something a deal breaker, something face breaker. Face breaker. It's that's breaking it something. Face breaker. That was the word. Crab breaker in this case. Fighting the STDs. Space between face and breaker. Professional face breaker. Yeah. Okay. It's a 2 3. All right, 2 3 menace. Yeah, that's a pretty pretty good card, I'd have to say. All right, so more mill stuff. Tommy's searching. All basics here. Is Tommy playing Blood Moon? I don't know. Because <laughs> it is surprising to see so many basics. I've played against his. Jund deck is other versions of Jund so many times. He has all the shiny Jund lands. Clothis. Okay. Well, that's decent. Honestly, this is a very Patrick Mosher style deck right now. Yeah, no, this is definitely not what we usually see from Tommy. Which really, I mean, it is still... Any kind of beat down thing is Tommy's roots, man. I remember when I first met Tommy, the deck that he had left from getting out of Magic before was... Berserk and Scrib Sprites and shit. <laughs> so, he's definitely a red-green guy at heart. With all this tiny stuff, the oh, Tasha's hideous laughter going to be clutch. Yeah, no, it would do a lot. I mean, there's a few four drops, but not enough. But he's got a... Oh, there's a... Okay, now I'm seeing more just... Generic Jundy stuff in there now. Now that yeah. you got a good look at his deck. Well, that did mill quite a bit of cards here. It was a, it was a good shit ton. 
A veritable shit ton. Now I realize why Dustin complains about alt art cards. I can't recognize hardly anything. And hideous laughter. Oh, yep, there it is. There's a hideous laughter. Zero. <laughs> well, well then. <laughs> okay. Three. Five. Uh, eight. Ten. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19. Yep, 20 plus. All right, That well, was a lot of that cards. That was a lot of lands. I didn't. Yeah. I never thought about that angle of that card, that it's better if you hit their lands. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that is a shit ton. Yeah, Tommy might die to mill. <laughs> he might die to mill. I mean, he's got to have what? He's got stuff out there. <laughs> he just drew a bird. That's a great top with, deck. What do you do with Clothis? I think he he missed it, is what oh, he did. Oh, no. <laughs> he missed it, is what he did. <laughs> Dustin, I'm not saying that out loud. Blake might watch this. No, oh, Tommy. He rewound. You funny guy. Well, out at once. Spider-Man mode, everybody gets one. Next time. Wait, it is after he draws, though, right? No, it's upkeep. Nah, because he gets to keep the mana that he makes. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. It's pretty yeah. combat main phase. So, I mean, he's still rewound. Tell me. Yeah, okay. He went on to other actions, and that's not... Uh, he, yeah. <laughs> that's not how that should go. All right. Been in for two, making some treasures. Um, yeah, that ability. Oh shit! You're just gonna do it. <laughs> uh. So that turns on. Does that turn on Clothis? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, not quiet. Scooping it up. Kyle, smashing with Mill. Apparently, it's crazy. I said next that I never, I've never really respected Mill a whole lot. It's definitely gotten better over the years. It's mm -hmm. not in a bad place now, but it's still just like such a, uh, it's pretty cheesy, Bali. But you know, well, if I can get there. I like the way it usually runs with surgical extractions, main board. That's yeah. Usually, I, I if I were to run the deck, I would absolutely have a number of those effects. I mean, you don't necessarily need like multiple playsets or anything, but. I feel like it makes sense to have at least two in the main just so you can get those, you know, cruxes and shit like that. Damn. Looking at this fucking super Boris Vallejo style art of a... That's cool. Well, what is that movie? National Lampoons? Yeah. yeah I need that for the movie section. That's dope. It's awesome. Alright, I should pay attention to sideboarding here. Alright, so it looks like Kyle brought in fogs, or is he taking out fogs? So, since he's... God damn it, Kyle. I hate the way <laughs> you put your shit together. Okay, so... Still confused. Upside down cards. I think he's taking these out, but he's putting things in sleeves and has loose sleeves, so I'm just like. Typical Kyle getting inside people's heads. Shut up, Dustin. I'm not. I am nowhere near as much of a dick about things as you are. <laughs> but I probably do say that more than I ought to, and if I've ever offended anybody with me saying I don't respect your deck, my bad. <laughs> I guess. A hearty apology. In a tactful way. Alright, Dustin. And I can't really say anything because all oh, my shit never performs, so I guess I shouldn't be making any criticisms. <laughs> Since we're still in sideboarding with, with nothing to, to talk about, Dustin, what deck should I play tomorrow? I'm thinking of either Blue Moon. I know what he's going to say. Affinity or Restore Balance. 
just playing me deck restore balance. I know what he's gonna I, I I'm pretty sure I know what he's gonna say. I know what I would say. I know you're pulling for the restore balance. That's what I was le leaning. I'm like, yeah, I'll buy some sideboard cards for it. That makes sense. But never mind. They're forty dollars plus a piece. Which ones? Endurance oh, you and can, you uh, can bar or two of mine. Force. I can't help you. Well, bigger. I might have force of vigors. I can definitely help you with the endurances. I have two endurances you can borrow. I'd like to think we're professional all the time. What's that? White border card. He brought in a bunch. I can't. Uh, oh, those are his fogs. So I guess his fogs uh, are in the sideboard, or he forgot to take them out of his sideboard the last game. I don't know. It's just a six o'clock FNM. You know, these things are kind of fluid sometimes. <laughs> Apparently, Brian grabbed the wrong sideboard pile. Yeah. And didn't have a wheel of sun and moon. And that would have meant that Kyle couldn't have beat him. <laughs> yup. Yep. My Dustin says restore balance. I second that. All right, so here's a monkey. He is now searching. Get that crab off the table. Nobody likes crabs. Nobody likes crabs. But if any wins, I mean, it won before. Yeah, that, that means it, it already has a crown. Well, and it also has a target on its back, too, to some degree. There may be people that, you know, would assume you would bring the thing you won with. Yeah. So. But uh, things that hate on it also hate on Restore Balance. That's true. Restore Balance is fragile. Yeah, no, it is. It is. In that particular comparison, the things that hate on both are much more damaging to okay. Restore Balance. What Did he just play the... Uh... Goblin, he played a Raid Bombardment and... Oh, so so you could sack the goblin and kill it because, or sack the monkey and kill it since he did block since Kyle yeah. did block with it. Yep, it's definitely not where wow. he wants to be. I'm sure. Two traps. Ugh. Ugh. And then six more cards from another crab. Yeah, this kind of shit is why people still play leyline. <laughs> yeah. Although it does archive trap target. I can't remember if it actually targets. I'm going to look it up because we have the power of the internet. Yep, target opponent. Hey, look at that. Don't know if that will be good enough. Oh my god, we're going to see fog come into play. Here's this. He's gonna make right. another copy. So now he can plus both to make Kyle lose two life and lose two They're life. They're devils. They're devils. They're devils. Yeah. Let's go. All right. I see you, Tommy. Do you want to say? Now I have to make a good devil token also. I think I'm gonna make a very Coop esque devil token. For those of you that are not familiar with tattoo culture, Coop is an artist that was known for sexy devil chicks, so <laughs> I will make a sexy devil chick token. Oh man, fuck around, Tommy. He's gonna fog you. He's got two of them in hand. But he's gonna die to a Nixilis. <laughs> well, he doesn't die first. That's a lot of cards in his graveyard. Fog, son. Haha, -ha, proof of concept. <laughs> I can take the question mark off now. I'll leave it on. <laughs> Tommy's like, all right, he fogged me, but I'm going to get him next turn. And Kyle's going to be like, fog again. I don't know. Kyle needs to draw something else. Is that another Omnixless? Oh, shit. Kyle got game one. What is that? See, Dustin, this is what we are not good with, is this stupid thing here. I'm not even here, and I'm still fucking it up. Or is that 
the That's Golgari. Grist. Yeah. Grist, yeah. He's a Grist. That's cool. You can un un unearth it then. Yeah, yeah. That's a card that is. I would really like to play with. I'm surprised I haven't played with it yet because it's a very me card. Okay, time we might get this one. Tommy trying to stop the crabs. Stop the crabs. I mean, these Abnexuses will close out a game. Here's a land that's going to come and tapped, which is not really what Kyle wants to see. I think your fogs are going to be good enough because there are other ways to kill people that do not include combat damage, which is what we're seeing here. Lands flying everywhere. Plus, you're going to lose two life. Plus, you're going to lose two life. Could you just discard that fog or the counterspell that's not doing anything? I'd probably discard the counterspell, maybe. And then he might be able to uh, end up down ticking this Omnix list to uh, try and nuke Kyle. Because how much life lost is it? It's on the ultimate? seven. Seven, but I, does it, I think it's a minus seven. So he's close. Yeah, he's getting there. Yep, minus seven. And so it's, it's Gristle Brand. Yep. We do need touchscreen capability. That would be fancy. Come on, boss man. <laughs> in time. All in time. First thing we need is a 4K monitor in here so we can get a better picture of these damn cards. Because mm -hmm. if it was 4K, we'd be able to see everything. Right now, we can see what we need to, but it'd be nice if we could see just a touch more. I, I wish I knew... I want to see how many cards are in Tommy's library. I'm going to ask him. Well, you know, it's pretty much over one way or the other here, so I guess I don't need to. It's going to go one way or the other way pretty quick. A land gets blood gas back, which he can then sack to deal even more direct damage. This is pretty, this is pretty spicy. Yeah, he's got quite a few avenues of attack here. Good amount of heat. Yeah, I mean, landfall. He doesn't have landfall though. Why don't you work with him? Let's take a take a gander. Take a gander. He's got an unearth. Okay, that's fucking quite a thing. And he has plenty of targets. Hopefully he doesn't like... Oh, man. It's got to be... I mean, if he's got Season in there, that's probably what I would do. Because then you could just... down. You could just sack the tokens to... What's it called? I don't even see a Season in there. I don't yeah. think he's playing Season Pyromancer. I bet he is. But sweet, if he, if, if he had a land doing that... Uh, that devil he's got on top... Oh yeah, if he had a land, then you would just... Wait, why didn't he just... Why'd he dig so far for that one? He had to think about it. I guess. So, two triggers, and then plus plus. That's close. It's not quite there yet. Okay. Oh, he down-ticked. Just to blow up the crab. And... It's a hideous laughter... It doesn't do anything now. Oh, it is. Yeah. I did very well. Could Tommy be dead? Two. Five. We missed a Ragavan in there. Yep. Six, yep, that's it. Fucking mill, man. <laughs> I guess he <laughs> would just have to have an instant speed play before his draw. Nope, that's it. Damn, Kyle might get another point. For tomorrow with Mill. Son of a bitch. Hey, yeah, that way he's getting his point for a modern tournament. 
I guess, yeah, you know, as long as he's not playing against control, but that, I think he will probably play against control in round three. And if that's the case, it won't be as easy as a win for him by any means. Who's playing control? Isaiah. Oh, you you you, you think the four, the uh, money pile decks control? Well, it depends on his version. Isaiah wasn't playing the slam together. See, there's two money pile decks. Or, well, I don't know. So the money pile deck got the elemental deck shoved into it. Yeah. And is now a different money pile. But I don't believe Isaiah is playing the elemental shoved into money pile. I think he's just playing the control money pile. And the control money pile is great against fucking mill. One, because it's eight cards. (laughs) Two, because it actually has control elements. So Mm -hmm. if Kyle plays Isaiah, if I, well, that depends if Isaiah won here or not. Eh, Let's see where it goes. Or Dashner. Yeah. Dashner is playing. Yeah, it could be either. I would think that Kyle probably wouldn't get there with Dashner. He had enough control elements and like legitimate pressure. But yeah, we shall see. All right, so we got 29 minutes. Um, let's see if we got any additional coverage. All Stay right. tuned.
We're back with some bonus coverage. Miller's good versus control. Yeah. All right. I'm not familiar with the match too very much, so I will take your word for it. I don't think the the counter. Well, I guess all the dead cards with a dead removal would make it a little bit wonky, but. All right, so we've got Isaiah Mosier piling in some four-color money pile versus Mike Dashner. You guys are good. Gotta go ahead. Go ahead. All right, so it looks like Isaiah got it because Mike played first. Yep. Just came in to say that I got distracted. <laughs> All right. So, as I was leading with the trio, Mike is probably going to lead with a noble. Not leading with anything. Nope. Trio. Trio on trio. Trio on trio. Land, 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 land. Snake, snake. Uh, I can tell the white card. Very snaky hand. Calling up a veil of summer, a little tough. Snake, man leak. A little fetchy action here. I think it's toasty back here. It does. I have somebody, uh, I'm not sure when he's going to be able to do it, um, but we're going to get a, an AC event plugged in the AC system in the room whenever my guy can get to it. Hopefully soon, because it's going to get hot in the summer for sure. <laughs> For sure. All right. Snake came down. As I played the abundant growth. And void mirror. No okay. elemental evoke for you. Yeah. So when did these decks start running abundant growth over cards like, say, Utopia Sprawl? Um, it's the because of the Yorian. Mm. They don't, they're not trying to ramp. They're just trying to fix... And then get the value off of the Yorian trigger. Yeah, when you so you can draw. All right, I I get that then. I mean, I think there's I don't know if they play. If there, I would think that there would be less that play Utopia Sprawl. Maybe the Elemental version does play Utopia Sprawl. I would assume the Elemental version of the Yorian would play Utopia Sprawl. So right now it's a snake fight. Snake fight. Fucking snakes on snakes. Jesus. Snakes everywhere tonight. Charismatic ending. Charismatic ending to fairy. That seems good. I missed what was in Mike's hand. Jace, Gideon. Yeah. And expressive iteration, which is probably what he's going to lead with. Yep, yeah, he's going to lead with the fairy. And that says man leak, and he says veil of summer. Shazam! Green cryptic command. Get there. Yeah, well, that was a pretty powerful turn for Isaiah. Yeah, he's in good shape here. I think Mike is... Okay, no. Mike is not super behind on lands. And he plays his own Teferi! <laughs> no one's doing anything that they should be doing. Part of the reason why I kind of don't want to restore balance tomorrow is that is asshole? I lose to that. Yeah, I get day. it. I get it. Yeah, the, the affinity would probably be the better choice just as far as power level goes. Big to fairy. All right, here we go. You're right. This is a very controly ish deck. Yeah, no, he's not playing the elemental version at all. Playing the threats that you expect with the controly ish deck. Trading snakes. 
trading snakes. All right, then tapping some lands. See what Mike's getting here. He's got his own battle this summer. Did you have enough? No, he's stuck on lands, man. He really needs an extra land to help him secure a solid play. Because he really wants to get that Jace down. And I think Isaiah's definitely got... Eh, I just going to be counter magic, so it's safe this turn, so... Brainstorm, of course. So, yeah, good. You gonna hang on to that? Yeah, no. Hang on to your veils. You're putting void mirror. Oh yeah, the extra void mirror's gotta go. Like, void mirror's cool, but how much does it turn off of Isaiah's deck? The elementals. And I've seen him play Solitude. I've seen him bring in Endurance. But, oh no, he has Fury too. Yeah, I mean, he. I think he, he probably still, has a number of all of them, but... Right now he just casts them. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't... Yeah. Sure, he can't evoke them, but he has enough mana. Yeah, I'm not sure them. of the relevance. Like, I don't... It's probably... It probably doesn't do enough in the situation, really. There's the old uh, Prismatic... Yeah. Jesus. Two prismatics. <laughs> Seven man and a mop up, a four drop, and a three drop. Boom. That's what you call a flex. Well, Isaiah seems to be in pretty fucking good shape here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think, uh, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty. Did he not untap his lands? He did. He's got two triumphs oh, yeah, yeah, untapped, sorry. yeah. I don't know why I was, wasn't was seeing those on the side. Here's a little Tef. Isaiah says, Latimer's call in response to the Tef. Probably just go get a Fury to just cast. Yeah. Nope, Ragavan. That's also fair. Because all Mike's working with is a Mana Leak here, which definitely, like, has not looked super good. Tonight, I hope you can just go ahead and stone forge. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I would have. I feel like keeping up. I mean, he has so much mana, so keeping up the mana leak is just kind of whatever. But at the same time, like, what is any of this doing? <laughs> I feel like making him fucking up his tempo a little bit is better than just playing cards that are just going to get answered or not matter. But I could be wrong. He has to get something down to... I'm usually wrong. And then... Yeah. Now, now, now dashing Ragavan seems really bad. Yeah, I mean, he just mops up. I don't know. So it's a one, two... I'm, yeah, I mean, you can't really... He's so far ahead right now with... He could just tuck that thing, too, with that. You actually can just bounce it with that. I mean, yeah. You still dash. The power of little Tef. Isaiah having all the answers. In an 80 card deck, he's right? He's drawing on time. a bunch of cards, so. Yeah. I'm just going to play the monkey, not dash. Interesting. I feel like. Why not dash the monkey? He has a mana up that's not going to do anything. You have a three mana instant that's going to matter. I don't know why you wouldn't just dash the monkey there. Yeah, he should have just dashed the damn monkey. It looks like he has expressive iteration in, in his hand. He has expressive, and he has but a snake. Lands. He's an expressive and a snake. He can hold up the snake with the mana he already had. Hmm, interesting. I would have just dashed the damn monkey. <laughs> Gideon. Yep, making a 2-2. Two -two. That's done, Forge. Go get another equipment. And what is a uh, Big Tef ultimate at? I think it's eight. Sounds right. Is it seven? Nine times out of ten, that's the win condition for. Uh, yeah, eight. Blue white control decks that I just scoop to once I see that emblem. I'm like, yep. 
my life is done. Yeah, there's really not a huge reason to keep going. But hang on, there's expressive. Got a counter spell now. Should probably go ahead and dig with no, the expressive. No, Omnath now. Oh, did you get an Omnath? Oh, okay, yeah. and yeah, that's always the thing you do. Papa. You always do the Omnath thing. What else is there to do? And see, this is why I do think that you should have just dashed the monkey last turn because like, now it's just stonewalled. <laughs> and this is not going to do anything but sit there and be a jump blocker. And he could have made it a jump blocker this turn. I mean, we were sitting here saying, oh, yeah, Isaiah's like really locked in. Like, look at his two planeswalkers, really huge. But it's still 17 to 16. It is. But life totals are only so relevant in this game. I do think that he's still ahead, especially after the odd math. Yeah. I mean, it's just, this is, this is the point in this match against this deck that you start to feel hopeless because he just has everything. Yeah. He has everything. He has the ways to protect it. He has the triggers. Card draw. Exactly. He has everything he needs in hand. He's got chumps for good chumps for days. Next turn, he'll be ultimating that Teferi. And yeah, he's got counter spell up, and he's got chumps with Sakenzin, which he can buy back with Renin Six, which is fucking obnoxious. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think Mike's in a great spot. He got equipment, but it's only so much. The life totals are tight, but I still definitely swing the advantage bar Isaiah's way here by quite a bit. Man, I really hope Mike's second match went better than <laughs> his first match. Yeah. Poor guy. I know he won game one. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I mean, if you would have seen a... Yeah. Oof. Yeah, he definitely needs... If he's... Yeah, especially if he's not playing fetches, man, he really needs to trim down on those damn come and play taps. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're they're good. You, you can fetch them out. With having fetches, you can play one of each. Yeah. But I think he's playing multiple of each, and I think that's really what's fucking him over. The mana base just seems to be... Needs some help. All right, activating Stone Forge, putting in a Battle School? Question mark? It was a Fire Ice. No, Fire Ice, okay. He has a Battle School, too. He's, he's searched multiple times off this thing. Okay, well, you know what? That Fire Ice is actually perfect in this situation. I, forgot, mm -hmm. I wasn't even considering that angle. So, yeah, Mike's, Mike's not that bad off right now. Actually, not at all. That's actually pretty decent. It's going to be hard for Isaiah to deal with. So, he can murder... you got to try to keep that big Tef down, right? He... Yeah. It's pro... No, they're colorless! Oh, <laughs> they're, colorless. <laughs> they're colorless! They're Kamigawa spirits! They're colorless! Oh, shit. That's ridiculous. I don't know why I thought in my head... Oh, it's a land that produces red. They're going to be You think so, things. yeah, but they're Kamigawa spirits. That's always been the thing about Kamigawa spirits. It's always weirded people out. Like, they're colorless? Why would they be colorless? Yeah. They're colorless and they don't fly? What? We're so used to white flying spirits. <laughs> yep. Damn. That sucks. That sucks. All right, all right. So, the advantage bar is still pretty high on Isaiah. So. Oh, yeah, now <laughs> Isaiah is going to win if he ultimates to fairy, but he's not going to win for. Oh, it's going to be a minute, yeah. Well, oh, I yeah. mean, Omnath could get it there sooner. No oh. doubt, Micah. Like, that was a super no, tight play. He's been getting really good with this deck. And he can do that every single no, turn. It's now fucking with gross. Sticks. I, I would Jeez. argue that land cycle. Many like dictates that Ren and Six shouldn't be long for this world in modern. Yeah, yeah. Between Adawara, Sakenzin, and Besaidu, it's really just not okay. So we would you put Ren and Six high up there of cards to get axed? Yeah, absolutely. I think it should go. I defended the card for a long time, but I think we're just getting to a point. It's a card that's only going to get better 
with every set that comes out. Yep. And it's just, there's got to be a threshold, you know? There's got to be a threshold of how, how good a card can be. Now he's just going to get to do whatever the fuck he wants. Oh, God, this is going to be gross. Yeah, and he puts the Yorian in hand. Blink all this shit. Draw three cards. Exile three things. anything that matters. <laughs> yeah, I said, oh, yeah, Isaiah's, Isaiah's not going to be winning for a bit once he all, all ultimates. No, that this, was a dirty lie. This deck it has threats, man. It has real threats. That's why it's so good is because it's a control deck that actually has, like, fucking meat to it, you know? I've yet to be Isaiah with this deck playtesting when I'm playing Affinity. Yeah. It's pretty nasty, man. It's real good. He says uh, burn is pretty good against it. Yeah. I expect there to be mul- multiple burn players tomorrow. Yeah. I think Carmel's going to play burn. I think Wes is going to show up with burn. So, uh, finally, Star City has announced a tournament that I think I can go to in September oh. in Ohio. We're going to go, and if it's modern, I think I'm just going to play burn. Columbus? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're gonna try to go take the whole store down as a team. So, whoever wants to go, we're gonna rent a big ass van. Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> Definitely, my uh, I'm from Ohio. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, Mike's not very happy about this. He's got swords. <laughs> Those swords don't mean shit now. Yeah. What a fun <laughs> mana leak. Yeah, that thing has looked awkward the entire night. I don't like dislike Manly because a card, but man. So that, that me and Dustin, the one thing that we talk about a lot is a card that would be great to see in a Modern Horizons. Miscalculation. You know what that one is? I do not. So Miscalculation is an Urza Saga or Destiny? I don't know, the Hammer Urza set. Whatever. It's a two-mana counter unless they pay two. And that's that. But you can cycle it. That would be a sweet thing to have in modern. I, I I like that. Yeah, it would be solid. All right, well, boom. Isaiah gets... So we're probably going to have move. Isaiah versus Kyle for the final? Sounds like it, yep. And I don't know. I don't think... Dustin says Mill is good versus control, but... Ooh, but... Isaiah's going to have endurances to get his library back. Endurances? And he already, has a, he already has a really thick library. Yeah. And Tha- uh, Thassa's Hideous Laughter is pretty bad against a deck that's playing a shit ton of five drops. And that's drops. true. So uh, this will be a match. Yeah, for this sure. This will be a match. All right, well, stay tuned. We'll be back momentarily. Momentarily. 